The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Okay, so for number four, we have a pretty tricky question. We have a system of equations word problem. So this is a pretty common type of question where you have, uh, for example, a boat that's going in upstream and a downstream. The current's different, so that means its actual speed is going to be different on each trip. So we have the, the motorboat traveled 24 miles downstream with the current in three hours. The return trip upstream against the current covered only three quarters of this distance and took four hours. Assume that the speed of the boat is x and the speed of the current is y. They both remain constant. So what we need is a situation for the downstream and for the upstream. So on the downstream, we were with the current. So the speed of the boat and the speed of the current would be added together. Going against the current, you'd have the speed of the boat minus the speed of the current, because the current's making the boat slow down. You can think of it like that. So now we just need to figure out what are these equal to. The, these would be equal to the average speed that you went on the entire trip. Well, on the one that you went with the current, the motor boat traveled 24 miles in 3 hours, so that is 24 over 3 miles per hour. On the one that went against the current, it was 3 quarters of the distance, so 3 quarters of 24 would be 18, and it took 4 hours, so it was 18 over 4 miles per hour. And now we just have a system of equations. So this is 8, this is 9 over 2, we can't simplify it any more than that. So we have two equations, two variables, and you can see as with the plus and minus y, it's already set up. Let me get rid of these now. It's already set up to do combination. So if we add these together, plus and minus y will cancel out. We'll get 2x. Over here, we'll get 8 plus 9 over 2. So if you want to convert that to all as a fraction, 8 is 16 over 2. So combining those together would give you 25 over 2, which tells you that x equals 25 over 4 if you divide by 2. So now to find y, you can just plug it back into either equation. Let's just use the top one because that was simpler. So we had x plus y equals 8. So we just need to solve for y. x is 25 over 4. 25 over 4 plus y equals 8. We can just subtract then. 8 is 32 over 4. So subtracting 25 over 4. give us 7 over 4. And these are both in the unit of miles per hour because when we added them we ended up getting the 8 miles per hour or when we subtracted them we ended up getting the 9 over 2 miles per hour. So those must have been in the unit of mile, miles per hour as well. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu